this time we'll be looking at the crop tool inside of photoshop which allows you to take away some of the pixels that is inside a digital photograph for me to open an image i'll go to the file menu look at that at the upper left side of the screen come down to open of which you can get to by pressing the control o command i am going to be um, opening a couple of photographs from my crop folder so i'll click on the first picture known as beautiful smile.jpg then shift click on the last one and that way i then end up selecting all the photographs i will click on the open button to open these photographs for me to view all these images i will press the shift and then the tab key to hide the right panel like so and then i'll go to the window menu choose arrange and then choose tell all vertically that way i then end up seeing all the images but then i can get a hand to by pressing the h key or clicking on it from the tools box and then click hold and drag on one image to reveal it like so or i can also hold my shift key down then click hold and drag on one image that way I end up panning around all the images like so that is revealing all the images I'm gonna release for now and then I'll go back to my window menu and then choose arrange this time around I will consolidate all two tabs the very first image I am going to be working on is known as unstraighten.jpg which is the very first image you're gonna be using I'm going to use the crop tool in a more basic way which you can get to by pressing the C key or click on it from the tools box and then when you click on it it takes you crop mode you have these handles over right here at the corners of the photograph and then also at the midway so you're going to click hold and drag on it like so and then release that way it brings you to the mode of which you can do away with some of the pixels inside of an image cropping an image is simply known as taking off some of the pixels unwanted pixels whether you want to hide them or even just get rid of it so i would drag this guy all the way inside like so and then release and then i would go to the options bar and click on the check mark which says commit current crop click on it and then you then end up getting rid of those pixels over there but in my case i'm going to press ctrl z for now and then i'm going to uncheck this option which says delete cropped pixels because i don't want to harm any image like so so still i'm just gonna drag like so until i get something perfect then i will press the enter key on the keyboard to commit my change and that is how to take advantage of the crop tool in a more basic way i'll still go back to this image known as unstraighten the jpeg when i get here i will straighten the image that is I would try to hold a handle like so notice once i begin to drag it's actually showing me some of the areas that i have hidden some time ago well i can position my mouse pointer right beneath one of the corner handles then it changes to two-headed arrow click hold and drag to rotate my image like so which is of course great in my case and then once i am done with that part i'm going to release and then also click on the angles and then drag it if i want to constrain my angles proportionally i'm going to hold the shift key whilst i drag once i get something like that i'm going to press the enter key on the keyboard to do away with that but if you can notice carefully well let me bring out my right panel by pressing the shift tab again i'm going to switch to my rectangular marquee tool click hold and drag on this area like so and notice um i am actually not using or uh, it is not a flattened image over here i'll go to my 
layer menu come all the way down to flatten image that way i then end up flattening the image making it a background layer then with my selection tool active this time i'll press the backspace key and then press make sure my content aware is active and i'm going to press the enter key on the keyboard then photoshop goes ahead and resample that pixel over there let me deselect my selection by going out to the select menu come down to deselect and then i get rid of that the same operation i'm going to perform for the down as well so i'm going to select like so and then backspace and then press the enter key on the keyboard press ctrl d on the keyboard to deselect that well then i now get something a bit okay the next thing we'll be doing is we we'll have to straighten this image so i will go up to this crop tool of which i can get to by click in on this crop tool if you can not get it click hold on this tool for some time and then select the crop tool then i'm going to crop this guy out here and then notice i have some lines over here well i'm going to straighten up the line a bit and see what i can get well, let me come down a bit click hold and drag on this until i am getting something quite perfect like so and then once i realize my drag is getting straight or it is straight as i want i would just accept that change but then i would have to click hold and drag with a shift key down just to make sure i don't end up humming up this image up a bit and then press the enter key on the keyboard to commit that change that goes ahead and then straighten up the image for me but that isn't what i want because you notice that i end up revealing some of the areas out here inside of the digital photograph which i don't want still i on a layer that is layer zero precisely go up to the edit menu come down to transform and this time go to skew what this allows you to do is to skew the image one handle at a time so i'm going to hold my shift key to constrain the angle like so and then this guy also hold drag it up like so and then this one also hold drag it up like so until i get something like this then i'm going to press the enter key to commit the change so that is how to take advantage of that command out there the next command you're going to be dealing with is the preset inside of the tools box but before then why don't we perform some magic inside of photoshop through cropping i'm going to switch to forget the rules the jpeg over here and then this time i would use this rectangular marquee tool in combination with some other tools to perform a trim so with the rectangular marquee tool selected i'm going to drag a rectangle like so and then i'm going to switch to um this tool out here known as the lasso tool click on it and choose this second option over here on the options bar known as add to selection and then i am going to drag so and then release then i will go to my image menu come down to crop that way it crops it to the size of my selection i think that is great for me and that is how to take advantage of that tool inside of photoshop the selection tool precisely to perform a trim with a trim with a combination of the crop tool i would have to deselect the selection so i'll go to the select menu and then come down to deselect that deselects the selection outline for me the next thing we will do is to switch to the preset menu so i'll go to my crop tool in progress come to beautiful smile.jpg and then this time when you take a look at this area over here it is set to unconstrained well then what happens to this preset over here presets are actually predefined aspect ratios something like 4 by 3 5 by 7 and so forth and so on so for me to choose something over here which has to do with the preset i'll 
select one out of the range like four by three then i then end up getting something like this when i get something like this i can go tools presets by going up to the window menu and then choosing tool presets this brings out a tools preset dialog for me but then when you look at the options bar over here this box says that it is set to four pixels and this is set to three pixels that is four by three look at the areas over here these areas are what we are going to be cropping off but then i'll click on this little gear icon over here and then okay you can see my opacity is set to 75 percent out here and then you can see the colors is much canvas size that is the canvas out there when i click down and choose custom I'm going to choose a color of my choice so in my case i'm going to drag inside until i get this white over here click on ok button and then the opacity i'm going to highlight this guy and then set it to 25 then i can now see through this guy that is see through my canvas like so well then i will click on this again to hide it but notice over here i have delete cropped pixels when i check it it will delete the cropped pixels for me which isn't what i need so i'm going to uncheck it back and then press the enter key on the keyboard to commit the change the very next thing we are going to be looking at is the ruler tool so for me to have access to the ruler to to do what i want to do i will click on this image over here known as judithjjm.jpg and then i'll come all the way down here click on this icon and then come all the way down to ruler tool of which you can get to by pressing the i key then i'm gonna perform a drag like so maybe i just want to rotate my image over here like so so i'm going to come over here and then drag notice i have the plus at the beginning and then plus icon at the end i can click on one end and drag it down a bit like so and then once i'm okay with something like that i'll go to my image menu come down to image rotation and then i have a command here called arbitrary when i click on it what well, up comes my rotate canvas dialog which the angle is set to 13.1 which is uh, what I just specify over here with my rule when I click on OK button it then what rotates the image to that rotation angle for me then I would have to perform a trim so I will go to the crop tool and then try to drag this a bit and also click inside and drag it down a bit come all the way down drag this area to up a bit and then drag this side up a bit yeah, well at the end of the day maybe i am getting something quite okay then i'm still gonna drag this area a bit something like so once i'm okay with that i would still use my, my left arrow key to notch it a bit until I get something like this, then I will press the enter key on the keyboard to commit that change over there. So next, I will come back to my move tool by which I can get to by pressing the V key on the keyboard. Well, when I press Ctrl 0 on the keyboard, you notice that I end up fitting the word to screen, even though I'm working on a very low resolution image. That is just to show you how to take advantage of those tools inside Photoshop.